Hey guys, my name is Michael with Light Tech. I'm actually the media supervisor here. Um, and today we're going to be going through how to change your graphics card. So let's begin. I actually have with me the Light Crown PC. This is a PC that's available on the Light Technology website. And to get into it, all we really have to do is we just take the PC, remove the side panel of the case by removing the two screws in the back, and sliding the side panel to the back of the PC and lifting to remove. Now as you can see inside here we've now exposed our motherboard, our RAM, our cooler, hard drive, and most importantly our graphics card. In order to remove the graphics card we're going to take a Phillips head screwdriver, the only tool you'll actually need for this job, and we're going to remove the two screws that hold the graphics card to the case. These screws are actually, here, I'll, I'll go ahead and give you guys a, a better view here. These screws are actually located in the back of the case, next to the I.O. shield, above the I.O. for the graphics card. Now that we've gotten those two screws removed, we just need to remove one more screw, and that's the screw that holds the shielding in place to keep the graphics I.O. in place. So we remove that screw just like this. Some of these cases have a screw here, some of these cases have plastic snaps that hold these shields in place. Whatever you have, um, it's pretty easy to figure out. You just simply remove this shield and we're good to go. Now to remove the graphics card, we want to be careful not to break the PCIe port. The PCIe port is the plug that the graphics card interfaces with to get to your computer. PCIe ports have this protective plastic clip to keep the graphics card in place during travel. In order to remove the graphics card and clear it, you're going to need to push this plastic clip back. Motherboards like the one in the Light Crown PC make this process fairly easy. We simply grab the plastic clip, pull it away from the graphics card, and grab the graphics card in any spot that's generally not right around the sensitive electronic components. So I'm going to grab it by the heatsink. And now we're just going to pull up. You might need to pull up fairly hard, that's okay. You can see the graphics card comes out fairly easily, and uh, now we can do with it what we please. Take our new graphics card, let's say. Um, we'll use the same one for demonstration purposes. And now to insert the graphics card, all we need to do is simply align it into place. This can sometimes be a little bit more difficult than you think, so please take your time with it. We're going to line it up with our PCIe port. And once we have it generally lined up, we'll push down until we hear a nice audible click. And that's it. You've just installed your graphics card. Now we're going to do the same steps that we did to begin this process in reverse so that we can get your graphics card bolted in and structurally sound inside your case. We'll take the graphics card shield and slide it back into its original location using, using the provided screw to fasten it in place. Whoa, I'm losing my screwdriver. Moving on to the next two screws. Remember, most of these screws are threaded into sheet metal, and so they can be fairly easy to strip the threads. You're definitely going to want to be careful, as not a whole lot of force is required to properly seat these screws. Now we simply apply the side panel of the case again. And inserting our two screws to hold it in place. And now we're done. You're ready to game. So now you guys are ready to get up in gaming. Thank you so much for joining me in this video, and if you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Light Tech YouTube channel for more videos just like this. We'll be coming out with a whole lot more in the future. Thank you again so much, and happy gaming.